Brittany May. We are about to start the 21 Day Challenge Special Edition that starts October 7th. That is a Monday. This is pretty much the first time that I'm doing a challenge with the group. Uh, Brittany is doing it as well. Yeah, and I don't normally do the challenge mainly because I create the challenge as well And also I'm always doing intense or crazy workouts on the side, so I never really focus on the challenge itself However, I am doing the challenge this time around because number one it is special edition and two my mom is here tagging along so I want to Motivate her and push her and hopefully she does the same because sometimes I slack as well So it, it's pretty much 50 50, but I'm definitely doing this because my mom's doing this challenge Yeah, I mean this is pretty much Brittany's workout plan anyway She just uses weights. That's a lot lot heavier and her reps are a lot longer um, So that's the beauty of the 21 day challenge is you really can go at your own pace and go at your own speed So I'm gonna be going at my own pace I am gonna lift weights a little heavier than five pounds, but for the most part, you know, I really wanna do something that I can commit to and that's not gonna make me wanna just give up. So that's one of the things that I've always, you know, admired about how you create the 21 day challenge, pretty much just for everyone. All fitness levels are welcome. You can do everything at your own pace, your own speed. So there's no need to keep up with me or my mom. Just use us as your guide, you know? So just follow along with us. Try your best, give it your all. Don't give up, don't give up after day one, day two, day three, midweek especially. Keep pushing through week one and just keep going. Even if you do slip up, pick it back up and keep going. And as far as challenges for me, the only challenge that I'm gonna, force, I could foresee is just being structured. Like I'm not used to being like so structured where I have to work out six times a week. You know, I have to like prepare my meals. I usually like just, eat whatever I want which is like a salad a day and then I'll have like dinner at night but it's not usually too bad but it's just gonna be following the structure of you know that's gonna be my challenge my challenge would be just sticking to a uh, routine sticking to this eating and then working out because I do things whenever I feel like it day to day I don't really have like oh this hour I do this this hour I do that no and so me going back into that schedule is going to be a little bit challenging but this is definitely super helpful for those who need that assistance to get them on the right track so yeah we're gonna get to that and i should be fine even if i do get a little bit busy or overwhelmed good thing i have my woman's best to pretty much get me through my days my shakes my bcaa's my amino and energy my supplements my snacks protein snacks all those things will help assist me during my journey and then you know the protein is also really good especially when you really want something sweet so we like to like spice up the protein shakes a little bit and like add a little bit of caramel sauce chocolate some fruit. yeah some fruit to it so Whipped cream it's like it helps like relieve like a sweet craving too so that's one of the reasons why I like the woman's best protein shakes and I think Brittany has you have it in the training book right? yeah I have a few of my like top supplements that I use in the training book so you can look at that and see what it's all about. Now we're going to pretty much put together our um, meal plans. You think the training is the hard part? The whole meal planning is the hard part. So we're going to plan out our weeks and then we're going to make a quick shopping list. My meals are the same for Monday and Wednesday, Tuesday and Thursday, and then Friday and Saturday. So I'm a really basic eater. I don't really get too creative. I don't recommend those who are just getting into this healthy and fitness journey. I wouldn't recommend being as basic as I am. I'm like been doing this for years, so I don't need much flavor. I don't need much creativity. I pretty much stick to what I'm supposed to stick to. So for Monday and Wednesday, I have um, like white rice. I choose white rice over brown rice because I like white rice. If you want to know which is better, well, brown rice keeps you fuller longer because it has more fiber. However, I like white rice. So white rice it is. I have that, I have steak, and I have greens. So greens uh, can be um, zucchini, broccoli, asparagus, whichever I pretty much prefer. I also have another option, which is sweet potatoes, chicken, greens, um, brown rice, switch it up, more fiber, salmon, greens, and I always have my side of fruit. My healthy fats, it can be avocado or almonds, and I always have dairy. So I'm getting all food groups, I'm not neglecting anything, as my mom said. That can be uh, milk, cheese, yogurt, you have the option. And then Tuesday and Thursday is a little bit more creative. So it's a lettuce burger, you can add cheese on it, tomatoes, mushrooms, onions, your favorite toppings. And I'll also have a side of sweet potato fries and a side of salad. I even have sweet potato nachos, 
So it's literally like nachos, but instead of using the actual tortilla chips, you're using chopped sweet potatoes. And I, I will add um, ground turkey, cheese, lettuce, beans. Another option, white rice, steak, zucchini, grilled zucchini. So it's pretty good. It's just all about making sure I prep, which is the toughest part, actually have these meals ready for me in advance so that I don't go crazy and lose it and get off track. And then Friday and Saturday, a very simple, it's just protein with different carb choices like brown rice pasta, and also my greens, fruit, healthy fats, dairy, the same goes. Now for my breakfast options, I don't have a set meal for each day. It's all about what I feel like having in that moment. So it can vary from being oatmeal with egg whites, mm, fruit, maybe some whole wheat toast, whole grain toast with avocado, eggs, fruit, or even a woman's best shake. You know, I may be running late. I may not have much time to prepare my breakfast, but guess what? I can pop in this shake in the uh, Nutribullet, make my shake, and have some fruit on the side. So I've got options. So my shopping list is pretty simple because I made my meals simple. I don't like to like do anything too crazy because I don't like to cook. So I don't want to be too creative. So I just have oatmeal, fruit, yogurt, greens, chicken, rice, bread, cheese, fish. So my two proteins, I have my dairy for the week, which is yogurt and cheese. Um, then I have my fruit, I have my carbs. Um, so I'm pretty much good. I have all of the food groups. I didn't neglect anything. course you know the thing about it though is that like they prepare these this food with a lot of sodium so that's why i consider it to be a cheap because it's all it could be heavy all the sodium that's added to it you know what i mean the seasoning and you're not preparing it yourself so you don't really know what's going in the food i spent too much money on chipotle so for the next three weeks this is it i'm gonna enjoy this my lemonade i'm gonna go ham on this and then back to my meals so this is my keto pizza it's supposed to be like less carbs so we'll see how that goes <laughs> Thank you. 